functions. We're going to learn about functions. Functions are so important to know. They will help you be more efficient and more productive with your time. If you are doing a task more than three times, it is wise to make that task into a function. Accounting has so many mundane routine calculations that learning to make functions will make accounting faster. In Python, a function starts with the word def, followed by a function name you provide. You can name a function almost anything, but there are key words that you cannot use. Inside a function name are arguments. These arguments are what you pass into the function. You can pass in an array or a dictionary, even a data frame if you want. You do not have to pass in anything. Note, in many Python documentation guides, you will see func for naming a function, along with foo and var. Let's create a simple function called my underscore function, which will print out hi, my first function. Note anything inside the indentation underneath your function is part of the function. And anything outside of the indentation of your function is outside of the function. And that's where you call your function. And to call your function is to just type out the name of your function. Let's run our function. Hi, my first function gets printed out. Just what we want. Let's create a simple function that takes one argument. My underscore function takes in an argument called job. Right now we did not specify what data type, but let's just make it simple on ourselves and pass in a string. Then we print out whatever the string was passed in for job and then it should say your magic is whatever was passed in. Let's call the function and use quotation marks because anything in quotation marks is a string. Let's run this function now. Your magic is accounting just like we wanted. Let's make a function to calculate the net loss income, which takes two arguments, the revenue and expenses. You can enforce data types into your arguments, so if you want only numeric values and not strings to be entered into your function, you could use whatever your argument name is, a colon, and then the data type specified, such as an integer or a float. This helps reduce code errors. Here we have our net income function that has a revenue and expenses argument. Both are integer data types that are expected to be inputted. But then we have a revenue minus expenses for our net income then we print out our net income in our formatted string print statement. Let's call our function with our arguments. For revenue, we have 178,900 and the expenses are 167,000. Let's run our code now. Our net loss income is $11,900.